Hey, Thomas from Field Tennis. I want to share with you today a short uh, lesson. Before the rain gets heavier, there's a little drizzle going on. So I want to share with you two ideas today. The first one is to think about the parameters of the stroke. So what are the parameters of the stroke? And the second topic will be, the second part is, why hitting in the net really sucks. So you will understand that once you understand the parameters of the stroke. So if I give you an example, what tends to happen a lot with players, they hit the ball in the net and their only thing that happens in their mind is, my forehand sucks. So they are just unhappy about their stroke, about their stroke technique or whatever, but they don't go through the parameters of the stroke to realize what adjustment is needed so that the next shot will be better. So I placed my tripod and my uh, ball tube there that you see, let's say that's the target, right? So I'm aiming for that target. So if I'm hitting towards the target and I miss it like this, what are the parameters of the stroke that we can analyze first? So there are five of them. I have direction, I have height, I have speed, I have spin, and I get depth. So these are all the parameters of this ball flight. So when I make a shot like this, so I, I, if I'm aiming at the target and I hit the ball there, I can say, okay, direction, I need to adjust direction. Maybe the height is a bit too low. I would like a bit more height, then I would like a bit more top spin. Maybe speed was a bit too high and I will adjust my speed and that's how I'm going to get depth, right? So I can think about these parameters and I hit the ball and then I see, okay, this one is like this. Then I hit the ball again and I see what happens and I realize, okay, the direction is good now. I think speed is good now. I don't need much more speed, but I need a bit more height to get the right depth, right? Spin, okay, spin is okay, so I will keep the spin and... I can do through these adjustments if I analyze a little bit these five parameters. Uh -huh, this one, this one, this one. I try again and I'm getting my shot where I want. So through this trial and error and awareness of these five parameters, then I'm getting faster and better results when it comes to targeting. Now there is also another way that many players do very well intuitively. So they don't really see these parameters, they just see one trajectory, right? So I hit the ball like this and I say, oh, that's not the right trajectory. And I can just kind of picture one different trajectory saying, okay, I want more this trajectory, right? So it's better to also do it this way or maybe not better, but there's another way of doing it. So you basically just try to picture a one, one thing that you don't clutter your mind too much. Okay, one thing just different trajectory. But I think it's good in my experience that you're aware of the five parameters of the ball flight, of your shot and then of the ball flight, so that you can more finely adjust the parameters, that you know exactly, okay, I think speed is good, you know, spin is good, I just need to adjust the height a little bit and I will get the right depth to my target. So it's good to be aware of that. So. Now we go to the second part, why hitting in the net really sucks. So saying that your stroke sucks is not a good idea. It's really bad idea or not learning anything. You're just being negative. But I want to say that if you really want to say that something sucks, then hitting in the net really sucks. I'll show you why. So first, like I was showing you, if I hit the ball over the net, and I miss my target, I can see all five parameters, what happened and how to adjust them. If I hit the ball in the net, I can see direction and I know that the height is wrong. So the height is too low. I don't know the speed. I don't know if the speed is right. I don't know if the amount of spin is right because I don't see the ball dip. I need to see the ball fly longer to see the effect of the spin. And I also don't get the information about depth. So I'm missing three parameters for my feedback whenever I hit the ball in the net. So I go again, just that you realize this, maybe you never consider this. I hit in the net, what do I know? I know I need to go more left and higher. 
but I don't know was my speed right or not because once I go higher and I have this speed then I realize oh that's too much speed so hitting in the net is really bad because you lose so much information of the feedback you're losing three parameters out of five you don't know if they're close or not close and so what will usually have to happen is that if you make a mistake in the net you will usually have to make one more mistake so that you get the full ball flight so that you get all five parameters and then you can adjust to those mistakes or those little things that you were wrong okay a bit more to the right oh now I see the whole ball flight now I can say okay this ball flight is very long it's very dangerous it's landing on the baseline so I have to adjust my power a little bit my spin I have to shape the ball and so on so I hope this gives you a better idea why it's so bad hitting in the net especially in practice right when you're training this is very important for junior training or for coaches to understand that why we don't like hitting why we don't like players hitting in the net because the feedback is so poor that they're not training effectively and they're not adjusting their strokes very quickly because they usually need to make one more missed shot and then they get good feedback on how to adjust right so the final point of this is that it's much better when you start warming up and when you start hitting it's much better to go long and too high and then work your way down to the target than going too low yeah or you get lucky like this but even this one you see is too low and then it's harder to go up and figure out what is the right trajectory so in conclusion my advice to you is that you become aware of the difference between missing if you're missing missing in the net and missing long and how missing long is much better it gives you much better feedback and that you're now that you're aware of the five parameters you can you can know with more detail which parameter you have to adjust so that you get the ball right if you're a very intuitive player you've played a lot of sports with balls you can sometimes do it just with one so you just change the shape of the ball okay I don't I this shape of the ball flight is not right I need to change it to this one that can also work so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time